guys, and welcome to another episode of Radiata Stories. I am DKS3A. In the last episode, we took care of some problems in the fort, opened up a couple shops, recruited a, new, a few people, took care of some stuff in the sh fort, got some new armor and stuff like that. And now we are finally ready to head to Goblin Haven, what Parsec told us to go to a couple videos ago. So, we are now ready to start making our trek toward Goblin Haven. It's going to be a little bit of a trek, but it ain't going to be too bad. It's pretty straightforward once you get into the right regions. Now, from here, we need to make sure we head to the Couture region. So, once we head to the Couture region, I'm going to fight him later to try to recruit him because he's probably one of the strongest we have. But we have uh, Coco, Romeria, Ridley, and Jack. Alright, so we need to head toward the Quator region. So I'll run around Jack, you'll get in, tr in trouble with Zane. So it's gotta be this way. We need to head this way to the Quator region. And we just go to the Quator region to the Noam region. Okay, so here's the Quator region. So we just head left as much as we can until we hit uh, the Noam region. And with four pe people in this party, it ain't gonna, all, none of these enemies are gonna be hard at all. So let's just take care of this. Oh yeah, I forgot to heal up after the uh, fight with Gil. So, but with all these uh, with all these enemies, this is gonna be no problem. I mean, all these uh, party members, this is gonna be a really really easy uh, battle with all these enemies. So. There we go. Alright, so once we head to the, uh, once we're in the Couture region, we just head into the Noam region. Ugh. <laughs> it's a little bit of a trip, but it's not going to be too bad. But it's got a... Alright. Alright, there we go. You know, Ridley's got some new armor, too. She's pretty powerful herself. Alright, and once we hit the Noam region, we'll just keep heading left as far as we can until we hit the next region. So here's the ca uh, Noam region, we'll just head through, head across here to the no Noam region. And once we hit the Noam region, we'll um, just keep heading left until we hit the Sepesh region, which is the region we need to be to to get to the Goblin Haven. So, I mean, it's not that long of a trip. But it's just, it's a little bit of an annoyance. It's a little bit of a trek, but it ain't too bad. Alright, so here we are in the uh, uh, Noam region now. Now, just here, just keep heading left as much as you can go. Just head left. When we get to this uh, three way split here. Alright, we got a wolf here to fight real quick. Alright. Wolf and some spiders. Jack was easily able to handle these himself, so it's not gonna be no ain't gonna be no problem. There we go. But Ridley's got like some new weapons and armor and stuff herself, so. <coughs> the only bad thing is that there are a few levels behind Jack L. But what can you do? All right, now here when you head to a, a three-way split, just continue heading in this way. And it should just continue taking us into the woods, which is where we need to get to. Now, Coco is really powerful with, uh, with the light magic, as you can see. So. I like Jack's new armor. It looks really uh, cool on him. Alright, so now we just head here, continue heading left, and it should take us into the woods. Hopefully this is the right way. Yeah. Now here, just head across this, across here, and then we'll head into uh, the actual woods. Back into, uh, now just here, just continue heading left. Like you're heading toward a forest metropolis, but we're not heading toward a forest metropolis. So, I mean, we... There we go. But it's like we're, we're like we're heading toward the metropolis, but we're not we're not getting to the fourth metropolis. We're going to be taking another little direction to, away from the metropolis. So just keep heading left here, 
We'll head across this bridge here. Alright. Now here, just take the bottom left here, and just take it to the Sadesh region, which is where we need to go. Now here we need to talk to here. Hmm, Coco, what are you traveling with humans? Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Lord Zane told me to take them to Goblin Haven. Yeah, okay, then you be careful. Then we can pass here, and now we're headed toward a new region where we've never been to before, the Sadesh region, which is taking us to uh, the Goblin Haven. Alright, so here we are, the Sadesh region, the icy region. Here we need to head across these mushrooms. Now, that's mushroom. You have to kick it to make it go down, and once we get on it, it brings us up. Here we are. That is the land of the mushrooms. Mushrooms and snow. Brand new region, though, guys. We've never been in here before, and of course, with brand new regions comes brand new enemies. We don't know how hard these enemies are going to be. Alright, so he's, he's got a little bit more HP to him, but... Alright, they can survive a Volti, so this this might actually be a little bit more of a tougher challenge. Wow, okay. He's even got a little bit more of a challenge to him, but it shouldn't be too bad. There we go. Alright, so we're in a new region, and we're actually pretty close to the Goblin Haven now, because it's right inside the Sadesh region. So now here, we just gotta cross, cross over here and pass this stupid mushroom again. Alright. I mean, they can just survive a bolt, so these things are gonna be... A little bit more difficult than the enemies we've been messing with. But again, they're still not going to be too much of a problem. So am I going to heal Jack or am I going to have to force use one of my healing items? Alright, there we go. Another one of those stupid. There's another one out of the way, there's another one out of the way, and that's all of Whew! Now these enemies are quite a bit tougher. And really just getting to level 27. Alright. Now here, we'll just continue down this path. And here, you notice a little, uh, here, it takes us to a chest with a celestial nectar. Now just, just, just continue heading left here. And here just I think we have to take down and left. Yeah. This will eventually take us to the Goblin Haven. We're close guys, we're really close. Just kick this one down and it pines us back up and it takes us up to an upper path now. And it should. Uh, there's the. Uh, no, it's not working. All right, so here we are. We think we've we've made it to Goblin Haven, guys. So let's see what to go up. Why did Why did you tell us to go here? All right, what we have here? We've got goblins. Goblins. Oh wow. Why? Never do anything, huh? Huh? Ah. Kind of like Clive, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to go back to Fort Helensia. All right, Coco. I really hate the stench. Okay, thanks. All right, so we lose Coco, so we only have three party members now. It'd be nice to have another party member for this, for this, but nothing we can do about it. So let's head into Goblin Haven. Why? And tell us why. Show us why Parsec sent us here. All right. So let's do here. Let's do a quick save.
And uh, let's look around a little bit around Goblin Haven and see why they told us to come this way. Alright, so let's look around here. We got... Human, be human belong in human town. You hear me not happy, okay? Huh? What was I doing? What's wrong with you? I didn't ask goblins could speak normally. I didn't think goblins could... Huh? How could you be more insulting? Sorry. Apology accepted. By the way, I hear you're looking for people to join you. Yeah, I am. It would be rude to ignore someone in trouble. I will join you on your journey. Really? Thanks. And we got Nico, the goblin. Mm. You get sick of human world and you come here. You're nice. A human visitor? Rare. Very rare indeed. World not made of good and evil. World of made of winners and losers. Alright, so, ain't too much in here right now. Let's just look around and see. While we have to come in, while we go in here. Oh, that's, must be a cutscene over here. Okay, that's what we got. Nice little place here. Ooh. There was something back there. Uh, look behind y'all. Wow. Ooh, who are you? Red-haired man, okay? Damn it! He snuck up on me. Let me go. Who are you? Your name. All right. Name first. I'm Jack. Uh huh. Jack Russell. Uh huh. Russell. Yeah. Who are you, though? Quick on your feet. Damn right. Now tell us, who are you? What are you doing? Good question. On people like that. All right, son of Cairn. My name is Gawain. The Gawain, Gawain Watchout. Wow, this is uh, Gawain? Gansett's father. Gawain. You're the one. Uh oh. Killed my father. Get your weapon ready, Gawain. Oh, that's why he told me to come here. Cause he knew Gawain was here. Gawain, you killed oh, that's a Princess Bride Gawain reference. God. Stop, Jack. Oh wow. You Now you can see the resemblance with uh, Gans in his face. Alright. So we get to fight Gawain. The first battle with him right here is an unwinnable battle. You will not beat him. You will not beat Gawain this battle. No matter what. You can try, but you won't beat him. You will not beat Gawain here. Yeah, so, no matter what, you won't be going, so don't even try healing or anything, it's just a waste of healing items. Alright, so... Jack. He'll be fine. He's just yep. be knocked out, that's all. Sir Gawain, so... What were you doing hiding in Goblin, d d oh, Goblin Haven? Alive, yes, and living in disgrace, wandering the world. Okay, so he's a wanderer now. But what are you two okay. doing here? Uh, excuse my rudeness. My name is Ridley Silverlake. The Silver Lake. Wow. Okay, Haven so he knows. No. Yes, sir. However, I recently left the family okay. and I decided to join the Light Elves. I've heard that there is war there is. between the humans and non-humans. Maybe. Does that have anything to do with it? A transpiration ritual was performed on me. Yes, there is. You, you received yep, she did. I can't help feeling that my destiny is somehow close uh, to maybe, maybe right. Ah, uh, yes. Destiny. Okay. But, what about you? You wore the crest of the Lion of the West, but then you left your country. Good question. Why you turn up in this place? So this is Ganza's father. Remember our old Captain Radiata Knight? Ganza is his father. I lost everything yep. that I'd ever owned. Lost everything? Damn it. Alright. You're pretty strong, Gawain. But unfortunately for you, ha, Jack's I'm back. not finished yet. Jack, enough. Mm. The fight is over. I don't think so. I was just getting warmed up. He has a fierce spirit. Ha! Reminds me of his father. You can fight me as many times as you want, but you won't beat me. Oh, wow. Okay. 
So you get to finally meet Gawain, uh, Gan uh, Gans' father. This is the reason why Parsec sent this here. Here we're going to go to uh, heal. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit, like, Jack about Sir Gawain. Ridley, don't try to talk me out of it. I have to fight the guy. Jack. Come on, body, body, uppercut, uppercut. Hmm? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So I got to uh, fight this little goblin guy. I think we beat him, though. We get to uh, recruit him. Yeah, easy. Get out of my way. Alright, there we go, and Jack goes level 33. Hey, hey, if only they're freaking out. Hey, hey, if only they're freaking out. But here, mm, voice from nowhere? Where, where, where our voice? We have to talk to Gawain. Gawain, I want another fight. Right, come and get it, Jack. I'll fight you as often as you want. This time, though, we have to beat Gawain, but here's the thing about the Gawain fight. If you lose to him, I'll show you real quick. He has a. Uh, we can pull out a uh, analysis ball. He has 1300. He has 350 HP. As you notice, every time you hit him, if you lose to him, you won't lose the battle, and you can go heal up all kinds of stuff. When he comes back, he has the same amount of HP as he does when he last lost to him. So if you get him down to about 170 HP when you get to, when you fight him again, he'll be at 170 HP. So you just keep fighting him over and over again about two or three times until you beat him. If you don't beat him the first time. So, I mean, so the first time, I mean, you find him, he has 350 HP. Then you beat him. If you don't beat him. Whatever HP ends up with on the, first, the, the last fight is how much HP has when you fight him again, so. So, if you just get him down as much as HP as you can get. And he's going to probably finish me off here. But you have to fight him several times and you'll eventually beat him. Yeah, was like, because first time I played this game, I was like, oh god, I lost to him, I the game over, blah blah blah, I gotta do all this over again, but, it's not a game over. Yeah. You'll just eventually keep fighting him, fighting him, fighting him, and then you'll eventually beat him. Is that all you got, son of Karen? Damn it. You can come at me as many times as you want, I'm not right hiding or anything. So you go fight him again, go ain't want another fight. Damn. So basically just keep fighting him, fighting him, fighting him over and over and over again, and then eventually you'll beat him. So how much did I knock him off that first time? Get down to my uh, analysis balls and let's check this out. See, see this time he's at 238. Yeah, so just basically just, you, have to, you may have to fight him about four or five times, but you will, you can't lose to him, you'll eventually beat him. So there you go. It's really hard to get some uh, healing things in them too, so. Let's heal again and let's go. Yeah. And let's keep fighting them until we beat them. So, uh, I, think you, I think after the act he beat him, he just shows that he appreciates uh, Jack's tenacity. There we go, finally got him. Alright, so there we go. We beat Gwen. I wonder if that's the reason why he brought us here. We got a lot of experience out of that. I got almost 10,000 experience for that fight, so. so. There we go. We'll have some more cutscenes here. <coughs> there we go. Boom. We beat Gawain. Yep. So he's comparing him to his uh, father, Karen, now. Good job, Jack. Took you a few tries, but you did it. Jack! 
He threatened to strike him, but he's not going to. What's wrong? You won't have And he's already avenged him enough. I don't okay. want to kill you. You didn't really kill my father. Ah, so Jack found to realize the truth. Jack. Tell me, boy. Okay, so here's the story. So we we'll finally get to hear the story of what happened to Cairn. No one has heard this story for Jack deserves it though, after all he is Cairn's son. I'll tell it to you. Your father and I, each led a brigade of the Royal Knights. Yeah. Kinda like what Gans and uh or well, Jack and Ridley are. They're friends, comrades, allies. We were trusted by the fairy creatures, and in the city of Flowers. We were allowed to now, kind of like well, how we are now. Even the elf elder, Lord Zane. So he's one of the few humans that they, uh, that they, uh, but respected. Sixteen years ago, the water dragon suddenly appeared. Yeah, we saw that, remember, at the beginning of the game, the opening the cutscene of the game. Trembled in fear. But the dragon had come to protect the cosmic order. It attacked the humans out of necessity, okay. not hate. Cairn knew this as well as any of us. But he He's kind of stubborn like Jack is. Cairn struck down the water dragon to yeah. save his okay. fellow humans. Because of that, the elements became unbalanced within him. He became infected. So he went crazy. In order to protect the Order of Totaus, Zane sent out a And if you notice, one of them is Gil. His friend Cairn. No matter what Zane's personal feelings were, he was forced to act. The elves oh. had been slain. I knew what was happening, but I did not. So you're kind of guilty for turning away. I turned. Oh shit. Who destroyed your family? I'm the one who. But you did what was right. From you. Soon after that, I left the kingdom. And the wow, that's kind of strong. I had helped murder a father and a husband. I could only pay for. So he left himself by, away. and that's the way that he thought. You're a real, <laughs> aren't you? I'm Idiot. Mom was as cheerful as ever until the day she died. After that, <laughs> Jason and I lived together. And my father never really died. He was always yep. alive. <laughs> right in here. And now, look at me. More fun Yay. than I can handle. What? <laughs> the captain, your son, he never left Yes, sir. <laughs> now, did he? You couldn't throw away what was yours, and you sure didn't take it. It was an accident. I bet you anything that my dad never stopped thinking of you as a You're probably right. Right to the very end. I'm sorry about before. All that stuff about getting revenge for my father. A water under bridge, huh? Okay, I guess we're all square then. Mm. Even Stevens, right? <laughs> <laughs> Even Stevens. All right. It is. Hey. Of course. Okay. Ridley, I've got it. Got it? That while Parsec sent us here. Mean? I figured out why Parsec sent us out here. Probably he right. to meet this guy. Parsec. Uh huh. Fire Dragon Parsec? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know him? Oh, yeah. He's still, still alive. He's the only dragon still alive besides the silver and the gold dragon. Mind you asking them. Me and Ridley are going to join the war against the humans. Why don't you join us in the fairy creatures? Jack, don't be a fool. But think about it. This old guy can really fight. It'd be a way That's true. Why don't we get going to join like us? <laughs> the young ah! right he is. The death of the dragon. The war with the non-humans. It's all part of okay. my destiny. I 
think. Yeah? So does that mean you'll come with us to Fort Valencia? I've turned my back on my destiny for too many years. So we're gonna get Gawain here, guys. I'm probably gonna get one of the strongest. <laughs> We're getting Gawain in our party. This is gonna be awesome, guys. We got Gawain. All right, now you're talking. And really, just like what? So we get Gawain now. Yay! So in our party now, we'll have right now Jack, Ridley, Gawain, and uh, Romaria. So now what I'll do is just head back here. Let's head back to Fort Helensia and let's take the easy way back. By taking the pig statue. Uh, I can't remember. There's a pig statue around here somewhere we can take. But we have Gawain in our party so we're just going to go destroy everything. <laughs> With Gawain in our party everything's going to be cakewalk. There we go. Yeah. Man, this is awesome having Gawain in our party now. He's level 53 too. It's too bad we don't get to keep him in our party for an exceptionally long time, but it's awesome. But it's still pretty awesome that we have him in our party for a limited time. All right, so let's find our way back uh, to Fort Helensia real quick. Oh, I think this, oh, never mind. I think the uh, pig statue's down here. So let's head down to this pig statue. All right. Pig statue's gotta be around here somewhere. Aha. Alright, so let's head back to Fort Helencia. Now we have Gawain in our party. Looks like things are going to turn out for the better. Alright, here we are. Oh, Jarvis and Daniel. Sarge and Daniel? It's been a while, Jack. I didn't know you guys were coming. You surprised me. Uh-oh. What are you doing? Jack, answer me. Why are you here? Well, it's not true, is it? You haven't turned against us and sided with the non-humans, have you? Daniel, we've come to take you home. Everyone at Theater Vancouver and Oct are so worried about you. Daniel, I... Gawain, let me handle this. Who are you? I'm talking to Jack. Sorry, but Jack is with us now. You liar, let him go. Sergeant, Daniel, stay back. We're taking the kid back home. He's here because he wants to be. Are you going to force him to return? Yep, even if I have to drag him back myself. And if I stand in your way? I know all about you, Gawain Lion of the West. So you've heard of me. Yeah, once upon a time I wanted to become a knight. You will fight me knowing who I am? Of course, Jack is a comrade and friend. Daniel, things are going to get rough. Sarge, Daniel, uh, Jack, if you really want to stay and fight as humans, then prove it to us. So we got a little bit of a battle here between Jack and Daniel, but it's a joke battle. With especially with Gawain in our party, this is an ultimate joke battle. Get rid of Daniel. Yeah, just get rid of Daniel real quick. Right, so this is an ultimate joke battle. With well, all of us just beating up on Daniel. We're not gonna do it. So Daniel's already done, and let's take care of uh, Jarvis. Yeah, that's a, this, that was a joke battle. Easy peasy. Especially with uh, Gwen in our party. Makes it so much easier. And got rid of Jack and Daniel, Jarvis. Daniel and Jarvis. Damn, you've grown strong. Sarge, I'm not going back. Even if that means you have to turn on your back from humans on us, yes, I've chosen my path. I lost my doubts I had with this battle. I know why I'm here. Well, you tell us then. Jack, why are you here? I'm here to protect Ridley. Jack, to the whole world of Radiata, you're a felon and a traitor. Your friends of yesterday are going to be hunting you down today. 
But if that's the path you choose, you, you should stick to it. Be a man. And that's the least piece of advice I'm going to give you as your ex-sergeant. Sarge. Sir Gawain, they couldn't care of this idiot. See ya. Never mind. I doubt we'll be seeing each other ever again. And say goodbye to Darvis and Daniel, because we won't ever see them again. Alright. This is a very easy battle. So let's go in here and let's save. And let's call this a video, and then we'll see what we need to do next. We got a couple little cutscenes up in here. Alright. We've arrived at the fort. I'll, I'll go speak with Lord Zane. We'll meet later. And Gawain leaves the party. So, like I said, Gawain don't get to stay very, very long, but... At least we have them. So we're going to save here. Do a little recruiting the next video, and then see what we need to do next time. So. Alright, so we got Gawain to join our side now. And we are now a traitor and a felon of Radiata. But that's all in the past. But next time, we'll, we'll do a little thing to the, the fort and see what we need to do for our next thing. Next time on Radiata Stories. This is DKS3A, the crazy gamer, signing out.